Morning, everybody. <laughs> Back up the lights like bloody the Mediterranean, man. Got Daisy here again. Hello, lass. How are you doing? We'll get Daisy some water soon. So, yes, we're up to there. In my pocket, I have something that will hopefully prolong my winter growing right into the kind of the winter planting now right into the winter so i'll tell you what that is a little bit later but first of all we'll just have a little look see what's going are you getting yourself so oh, there it is i got what came through the post i said i'm getting me 60 day broccoli <laughs> look at how tightly planted but i got that igloo i think it's igloo cauliflower so i'm gonna yes cauliflower i'm gonna plant that well, we'll just have a little look see what it is and i've got my trays there and what the f oh <laughs> oh you and piece of cat shit look at that yeah thinks it's a can lit that tree are we torn keep it together you're on camera I've got to leave the doors open because it's just way too hot but I'm <laughs> it's obviously just thought it was a little tree hasn't touched the wet one didn't like the wet one oh by the way big thank you to Ian, Ian sending, sending over some more trees there so I'll be able to kind of get them I'm gonna to have to rethink that. I need some sort of. I've got a little table actually, haven't I? But then it might jump up on that. But it's not touching them when they're wet. But it was on the floor, it was just weird too. <laughs> oh, brush it off, Tone. Start again. Don't worry about it. I wouldn't care because there's such a big. It does use up a lot of your seed. You know what I mean? So well, I had to get that cleaned up straight away. Yeah. Bloody hell. Daisy up here. <laughs> Man, that was a great idea as well. Let it. Oh, I need a bag. Oh. I'm guessing it's a cat. No. <laughs> Just, right, got to think that through again. Who gets pestered with cats? <laughs> oh yeah, bugger you. I'm just trying to think where I can put them and actually why don't I just you know that's just a waste of space there. I'll put them on that. But I was thinking it's probably ideal if I'd had me floating tables again. But I've just just used them for the bloody for my onions. Better not start crapping in me car. <laughs> it's still I'll be bloody air rifles will be coming out. Right. I'll put it there because I've got I'm gonna wait that actually looks a little bit wet doesn't it have I done that too much I'll have to I have to have a chat with Ian see what because that just looks too wet and it might kind of dampen off the seeds I think I'll take it off that tree put it there this is before I even show you the trick to get through <laughs> to the window there we go put it there so when I get me new ones, I'm going to have a nice long kind of stretch of them there. I haven't put the, the well in yet because I'll have to check with Ian just to see if it, it meant to be like wet like that, waterlogged. So, but, right, right, first off, I'm going to plant those little seeds there to show you that. I think that's, and these are the, the igloo igloo ones the cauliflower ones this is again trying to get things and i might grow some in the greenhouse in the polytunnel as well but trying to get them next year we on you know what i mean so let's give it a little water before i put the seeds on so as you know king i mentioned before it's fun and games doing it now. It's like, it's, it's not easy peasy lemon squeezy because you certainly, certainly get feels and cat shit and everything. But this, the goal for like, I think for most is to try and just drag it through. Now I did that last year and I got, the mustards didn't seem to kind of get flick, bothered by anything and I had a great like abundance of mustards and they grew huge and you, I was able to do stir fries and everything. But when I planted the carrots in, if you remember last year, 
they got hammered by cutworms so well I think there were cutworms and I'm hoping this little nematodes this little packet will do in here so that's what I'm doing today I'm gonna to mix up this and just getting ready because at the moment it's still you know like we're still kind of in the the glut of the the summer and the tomatoes but I want to just kind of hopefully get it all dampened down and kill it all off now because there's loads of moths and everything in here you come in on the morning there's loads so if I can start now maybe it'll give us a fighting chance now it, it also says it does like a variety of other things so what I'm hoping for it might do carrot root fly and I'll just give that a little tinkle as well so I want five litres in here for this for this size pack you can get bigger sizes but I just want to kind of cover the green I mean there's way more than the the polytunnel size area but I'm gonna give it a good soak in there so I need five litres of water in this to most that's half a watering can right oh, get that there now I need a little a little stick I'll use one of my tatey sticks actually these were those willow twigs and you know I use them for the kind of but I'm a bit disappointed they just dried out dead quick and just yeah I could have kept them inside but bamboo canes just seem to last way longer than trying to be cool and hip with me will willow sticks so this full packet goes in here in a good mix best before the 23rd of the 8th so you don't get long with these gonna let that percolate away what I'm gonna do is give a good dampen in the greenhouse in, in the bloody polytunnel man in the polytunnel give that floor a good dampen and I'll have to do that now for a couple of weeks so I've been on for ages to be honest giving this a good soak and end. there's a few people mentioned on the in the comments as well like oh yeah the ground looks dead dry and there's a reason I, I do it exactly like that I use the pots the pots of you know when I'm doing the tomatoes now the pots have got holes in the bottom so I just water that because once you start watering the rest you, you're kind of governed with weeds and again you know what I mean it's just like but this is the sacrifice you know with the part-time I've got time to weed a little bit in here you know what I mean so I'd rather have to weed and make sure they're all like bugs when I've been doing it mind you things have just been flying up so There'll be eggs and everything all over the place and hopefully these nematodes will get to work as yet as yet my beetroot hasn't been eaten so that's at least one good sign anyways before i get to work giving it a good hose i'll give daisy a little water there and i think it might be a nice time to ask you to consider subscribing eh lass eh should we get some more folks on the channel to come and see what it costs you nothing honestly when all the subscribers is when i'm doing these videos you get notified do you know what i mean there's a little bell icon comes up click that all videos oh she's had enough of me sales pitch <laughs> and then you'll just get notified do you know what i mean hit the thumbs up as well that would be fantastic and you can see hopefully daily videos <laughs> So that's me concentrate now i've got a full 10 liters in there and with this give it another concentrate a liter mixes in so this is me liter my wife's asking us where this where this jug went to <laughs> there we go come on my little beauties and that goes on the ground to be honest I'm just gonna slosh it everywhere and just get in a nice coat and hopefully they'll do the they'll do the little job I'm even gonna just do these there you go it says use a coarse thing rows so this is obviously because it the little microorganisms the millions of them must just block it up but 
I'll do the carrots outside as well. It might work, I don't know, but you will be, if you've subscribed, once I lift these carrots, you'll be able to find out. I'm just using this last one to get, you know, the hard to reach places, just hopefully right at the back, so it gets them. There we go. Little hiccup to start with. <laughs> I don't think I worry about that bit of cat shit. But hopefully that'll get get sorted and get everything. Hopefully. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't stop slugs and you know what I mean? So it's still a battle, but let's see. Look after yourself. Take good care.